Welcome to part four, Google My Maps. Today we're going to be looking at layers and how to create different layers, name them, and move place markers between them. I'm Lisa Nowakowski. You can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. We've been talking about the different features of Google My Maps. Today we're going to look at how to add a layer. So here I have my first layer that I've been working with and I've renamed it Demo. In order to do that, I choose the three dots over here to the right of the layer. I click on it. The first option gives me the option to rename the layer. I can also delete or open the data table. So in order to create a new layer, say cities in California, I could, I'm going to choose this first option here in the gray bar area, add layer. Once my layer is here, it's called Untitled Layer, and I can go ahead and rename it. You'll also notice that there is a blue bar along the left side. This means that any pins, lines, or shapes that are put onto this map will be placed in this layer. If I want to put it back into the demo layer, I simply click up on the demo layer box, and that blue line goes here. So let me go back down here the three dots and I'm going to rename the layer. So here I have my layer which is renamed California Cities. So now I need to put some pins on that layer. As you remember we can either do it with the add marker icon up here or I can type in the name of it, Cities. Alright so here you see I have four different California Cities located on my map. They all have the blue pin. So I can come over here and I can individually change them like I've done before. So San Diego can turn purple. And I can go through each one of them if I want to and create a custom icon for them as well. Or I can come to this little feature right here of the individual style. So if I choose that, you'll notice that the default is individual style, which means I can choose what I'd like. However, I can make them all the same color and if I click off that, you'll notice they're, they'll all be blue or they can all be a green. I can go a step further and I can sequence them in numbers of how I placed them. So this one, San Diego was first, uh, Cayucas was second, and so on and so forth. I can also, going down here to Style by Data Column, I can choose to style it by name and once I do that, click off that, you'll notice that I have various colors that it automatically gave it. So those are some of the fun features that you can have with adding layers. This is a really great feature to use when you're working with students. For example, if you're learning about the 13 colonies and you need to do, you need to divide them up based on their colonies, whether they were New England, Middle Colonies, or Southern Colonies, you can have each uh, colony in its own layer representing each of the uh, colonial regions. Another feature that I really appreciate on Google Maps is the ability to move pins or place markers from one layer to another. Um, this only works with individual styles and sequence of numbers. So I'm going to keep it individual styles. And let's say I wanted to move San Diego into my demo. So I would just click and hold it. And you'll notice that it's moving and I can just drop it. And it's now listed in my demo layer. And in order to move it back, just click, hold it, move it down to the layer that I'd like, and there you go. 